game one of the Cancun Challenge, and glad to have you with us alongside Alexi Ayala. I'm Kit McConico here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. Florida State and Oklahoma State underway. It combined just one loss between these two teams. Florida State 5-0, and Oklahoma State 4-1. and Oklahoma State with the opening possession. Chastain a little pull up, unable to hit. Rebound, it'll go off the Cowgirls, the Florida State ball. Good effort from Taylor Collins, the forward for Oklahoma State. Almost with that offensive board, could have been a second chance point. Richie Sims looking for a big victory here today. Some contact underneath, no call, and the first basket goes to Michaela Timpson of the Seminoles. Forward Michaela Timpson, such a strong, smooth post player. And immediate response from Oklahoma State, Lexi Keys. <laughs> It would have knocked that one down. Here come the Seminoles. Another three. And uh, this one, nothing but net. A beautiful shot, courtesy of Aaron Howard in Florida State with the early lead. Howard has such a high release, and she doesn't hesitate at all from beyond the arc. Looking underneath. Great feed and nice. Gordon picks out. Three coming from the corner. Unable to knock it down. Cowgirls with the rebound. I did five early on. Gastain looking for her first points. Instead, she will play the distributor and knock down from the L. Looking inside, Collins couldn't finish. The putback is there. Really take a lead on this one if they take advantage of offensive rebounding and second chance points. Early going, Oklahoma State with a four point lead. And off their first loss of the season, falling to Kent State their last time out. Their only loss this year. Looking to take that thing off the drip for Howard. Quickly into the front court go the Seminoles. Able to knock down the three from the corner. Both teams looking to run and gun early. Oklahoma State the other way. And it'll be a foul. He's the junior from Tahlequah, Oklahoma at the line. He's a 60% free throw shoot for Florida State. Did a great job as the interim coach. Led them to their ninth consecutive NCAA tournament appearance. Masson Gill still with it. Jasmine Maskell pulls up long two. Looking for her own rebound underneath. And it is going to be Cowgirls ball. Masson Gill unable to come up with that one. Keys for three. Got it. Five remaining in the first quarter. Keys, this is nothing new for her. She's a junior this year, but was voted Big 12 all-freshman team her freshman year. Florida State right back down in a nice little. Looking over, Alnatis open and knocks it down. Great fake pass by Alnatis. The defense by the Seminoles was coming out. She faked him out of their shoes and pulled up for that shot herself. Oh, girls with their largest lead of the game. Having to pull away just a bit. Gordon drives in, takes the contact, and finishes. By the Cowgirls right there, was locked down. They stayed in front of her, but she dipped her shoulder and put that one in. Looking to respond. They're looking to bounce back here in Cancun. And both teams, Oklahoma State and Florida State. Florida State able to take down Kent State on the road, 80-71 to in their second game of the season. Ariana Valenzuela also on, the native of Mazatlan, Mexico, for Florida State. Back in her home country as this is thrown away. Oklahoma State in transition, three on two, a nice finish. A two on one type of transition play, just quick passes and easy layups. All of a sudden, Oklahoma State is out to an eight-point lead. All the points since the timeout have been for the Cowgirls. Consuela. Over to Gordon, fires from three. We're going to see a lot of substitutions. You mentioned Florida State, only a rotation of eight players. We'll see if they can keep it up through the full 40 minutes. Nice drive in and the foul. Space and heads all the way to the rack. The impressive freshman out of American Heritage High School. 32 against Florida. Already winning ACC player and rookie of the week once and the season is just standing along the three-point line Normally they're moving they're setting ball screens. They're cutting there wasn't much movement on that last one Three ball from Valenzuela Absolutely Valenzuela Mexican born sophomore And a nice take and Valenzuela Looking to take the defender off the dribble and able to finish Here comes Garzon gets it back 
Throws Arzon in. We've talked about Florida State with just the eight-player rotation, so they're used to being in. Complaining about minutes is... Under two minutes remaining here in the quarter. Back to a five-point Oklahoma State lead, and Florida State looking to go back inside. Well defended, but a nice finish. Kimson, even a, a little off balance, she's able to put shots like that in because of her strength. She can just buckle down and go off two. Big sophomore out of Georgia. And it's coming right back down. The off her shoulder, she knew that she had the edge and took it all the way in. You mentioned began her collegiate career down in Texas with UT Arlington. Florida State looking to go on a run here. The final 80 seconds of the first quarter. See if they can tie things up. and Contact. Unafraid of big post players. Against Florida, she had 32 points. Against Houston in the last game, she had 21. And Coach Brooke really does a good job at instilling confidence in her. She continues to tell her that you're doing the right thing. Just keep playing your game. He pulls up from the elbow and drops that one in. So many of the international players now across rosters in college in a drive and rebounds, and that was one of my keys of the game for Florida State is to win the rebound battle. Jetty unable to hit the three. The putback is there. This pace really working out well for them is going in. Alnadis unable to hit. Latson in transition takes it herself. Nice move and a beautiful. Latson's athleticism shine is running in transition. She's so fast and she's able to finish with contact on her or not. Ease elects to slow things down. All not as thought about it. Looking inside, Chastain kicks back out. One of the longer possessions we've seen today from the Cowgirls. Now eight seconds on the shot clock. Alnadis, Garzon for three, got it. Go back inside as Valenzuela back on for Florida State, couldn't finish there. We've seen all game long, Oklahoma State looking to run. Aussie, to go underneath, well defended by Valenzuela. Geese, great look inside, pulls up and sinks it. Florida State. Jetty, a great bounce pass underneath. That one just off, but the putback is there for the Seminole. State doing a good job getting back in transition. Little drive in. Gordon stripped. Nicked out. Garzon for three. To the Oklahoma State defense. They play in help defense constantly. They're not right up on their players because they're ready for the help. They'll get the strips and they'll go the other way quick. Cowgirls, Pajetti responds a long two to an eight-point affair. Under five minutes remaining in the first half. Oklahoma State beats. They have not had any issues with the travel. Florida State unable to connect there on the three. Oklahoma State continues to press any opportunity. They're finding the holes, and their three-point shooters taking full advantage. Almadis, slow things down. And it is rare that we've seen this length of a possession from Oklahoma State. Almadis, with six seconds on the shot clock, looks to drive in, creates some space, and what a finish. Very happy to have her wearing the black and orange. And on cue, oh, couldn't hit that one, but a big board ripped down and a putback. What a job from Delap. The lap, just averaging 2.7 points per game, but she'll bring them down when she can. Lexi, you know Florida State, they want to stop here, want to cut this deficit to at least single digits before half. Yeah, for Florida State, they have to score, stop, score to bring this gap down. Alnadis says not so the interim coach last year, did a great job and well rewarded in that position in Tallahassee. Off to a great start. Her Seminoles 5-0, and oh, but a, not a great start. Eric Gordon, sophomore, native Floridian with a three as the first half comes to a close under a minute remaining. And all not a Justine looking for keys. Knocked away. Latson with it for FSU. Latson one-on-one right at all not a Dips the shoulder. Easy money for the and one. She'll go for three the old-fashioned way. Watson at the line, 84%. Back with Keyes, a little bit of space blocked. Keyes that time trying to go right at Timpson. Timpson having none of it. Watson 
Jetty pulls up on the baseline, finishes. Almatis trying to find some space. That one knocked away, never got a shot off. Latson flies up the floor, and Latson. Texas, baby, right? Get the cowgirl hats out. I forgot my cowgirl shoes at home, but maybe next time. That'll be game two. Five games for you. That full schedule, flowhoops.com. Oklahoma State looking for their first points of the second half. Had them fired up. These Florida State Seminoles are not laying down and giving this one up. Collins out the line, hits the first. Just a 54% free throw shooter. As we go underneath, Latson, a little double pump, couldn't finish. Timpson with the rebound and the putback. It's so important, the offensive boards. Timpson has to be able to get some second chance points. It will make a difference. So if they can focus a lot more of their scoring on layups and points in the paint, I think they'll be all right. Collins, now Almada steps up, knocks it down. Modest. I love that she utilizes the pull-up jumper. I feel like the game of basketball has really turned into a three-point shooting contest with some layups riddled in between, but the pull-up mid-range is still very much alive. That's a great look underneath Oklahoma State. Going to be low by their high standards here in the third quarter and unable to hit some baskets. We knew they were going to cool off a little bit from the right. field, and that has indeed been the case. The question is, can Florida State take advantage? It has to be a score, stop, score mentality for Florida State to close this gap. And the entry passes really matter. They've bobbled a couple of those. The jetty drives in amongst the trees. Marzon is Aussie back on. Marzon the long two. Florida State, a little sketchy there. Went for the double team. If you have a double, you have to get away with the stealer. It leaves one wide open, and they capitalized off that was Oklahoma State. Lift over to Bajetti. A look up at the clock. Now drives in on Aussie. Unable to finish, but is fouled. Senior from Finland. By way. Growing up in Finland, all the schools she was looking at in the States, you, you get the common denominator between Arizona and Florida. They're all warm weather climates. Looking to get her more involved in that offense. The lap almost lost it. But a fine all not as she's tangled up with Bajetti. Criminals outscoring the Cowgirls 14 to 8 thus far. And with a tournament like this, the Cancun Challenge, there's so many games going on, so much on your mind. It's hard to be present and get back to their roots, calm down, and come back out playing their game. And Lexi, that's a great point. Both these teams will be in action. Both tomorrow and Saturday, Oklahoma State taking on Harvard tomorrow. Florida State will face off against Purdue. Underneath the Timpson. This could be a huge turn right here, Lexi, as Florida State gets another opportunity. They could cut this to a five-point game. Timpson working on the lap, and she's blocked. No, got enough. Kayla Timpson heads to the line. Two free throws coming her way. 65% free throw shooter. Particularly trailing. This two seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Oklahoma State can run this one down here. But they so choose with a seven-point lead. Go ahead and start looking toward that fourth quarter. This is the moment where Oklahoma State has to be very careful, very attention to detail. This is the time when you're playing against the clock that you can't afford a mistake. In Florida State, their best quarter thus far, outscoring the Cowgirls 17-10 to 10 here in the third. They got that early deficit. Taryn Milton. The last outing, 21 points and 7 for 14 from beyond the arc. Misses both here, unable to take advantage. They heave at the buzzer off the mark. We turn our sights to the final 10 minutes, 7 point game of Florida State. Glad to have you with us. A very happy Thanksgiving to you from our Flow Hoops family to yours. Gobble, gobble. Hope you're having a great start to the day. I believe you were in charge of the uh, dressing cranberry sauce. Is that correct, Lexi? Oh, I missed the memo on that, but maybe next time. Very disappointing. One thing that is not is this game is Chastain fires from three. Can't hit. 
a whistle underneath over a minute and a half into the fourth quarter and neither team able to find a basket and then on cue Oklahoma State does just that Gordon picking up the foul will have to sit for a bit and they like to bring her back out and if you're Florida State you really don't want to give Oklahoma State points with the Time stopped, clock stopped, easy money, no no defense. Eight point lead, it's been around that 8-10 mark the entire quarter. And the put back. Seminoles, but left nobody there to box out and grab a weak side rebound. The Jetty takes it herself, couldn't finish. Rebound by Collins. Let's see if Oklahoma State elects to run some clock in this situation. That's right. Like you talked about with the time, Oklahoma State's in a position where they should use the majority of their shot clock. And Florida State wants to go quick. And block. I'm saying a 75% free throw shooter. Now just 9 of 15 from the free throw line. Just under 64% of Chastain misses. Florida State the move quickly. Time, as we said, starting to become a factor in this one with a 10-point deficit. Seminoles have not lost all season. They are 5-0. Her elevation just rising above the defense and the hands in her face to put that one in. Aldatis for three. A miss after everything was going down for her in the first half. Gordon. Over to Massengale. It's a five-point game. A big three by Massengale and wide open too. Oklahoma State has to be aware when someone's driving, they're driving to draw the defense and get an open, wide open three-point shot. Florida State on a 5-0 run. Their last two trips down the floor and they get another stop. Defense and much improved here in the fourth quarter for the Seminoles. Not in a great position. Guard out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma, just to step around a Latson. Latson has to be frustrated off that last possession, though, allowing the and one right when they start to chip away at that gap to give an and one is unacceptable. Massengale kicks out Gordon for three. Got it. Gordon coming in ready to go. A good three, and this is what Oklahoma State has to step up and be more aware of. Chip away too much, evening it back up with a three of her own. Right back down, Latson with the miss. And following your shot is so important. That's why you get second chance points off of it. Basketball 101, follow the shot. Latson does just that. Six point game. Gastain drives in, pulls up. Gastain has such a nice pull up. Her first step is so quick in order to give her that space to be able to pull up. Latson thought about it, instead out to Gordon. Battle underneath is Myers lost her footing. Jetty drives in off the glass. Jetty so shifty on her drives and so patient. She drives into the lane with a calmness. 14 Oklahoma State with a slight advantage. The bad news for Florida State is with that deficit, they can't afford to train new exchange baskets. And what a different game this could have been. Absolutely swatted that one. Did a lot in. Six point game, Bajetti drives in. Big 6'2 sophomore out of Edison, Georgia. An impressive performance here today. Chastain right at Simpson. Chastain, big bucket to make it a six point game. Chastain absolutely fearless going up against a six foot plus Simpson. Talk about fearless. Lats in the other way. And Alexi Keys, 15 points. Mentioned what a great start to her career it's been. The freshman from Miami. 30-point performances, 34 against Kent State, 32 against Florida, 21 the last time out against Houston. That, those are not numbers you see from a freshman. Colin Chastain gets it back. Chastain drives in, and Timpson commits the foul. Drops the first one in. Before coming into today, she was just 54 points shy. She might end up hitting that 1,000 ball in this Cancun Challenge. Has two more games. Oklahoma State against Harvard tomorrow, against Purdue on Saturday. But right now, all the focus on Florida State and handing the Seminoles their first losses. But Jetty, long three. They didn't knock it down in Oklahoma State. Six point lead. I would imagine they're going to take a lot of time off the clock here. 
continue to put pressure on Florida State as we are now 90 seconds remaining. Gastain. Garzon, step back three. Well off the mark. Latson quickly up the floor, wanted it in transition. Massengale couldn't locate her. Finally, over to Latson for three. And drops that one in. The rim friendly for Latson. A couple bounces on that shot to make you hold your breath, but Latson, the entire possession, wanted that basketball. She wants the ball in her hand. She's ready for the moment. It's a one possession game under a minute remaining. Florida State has cut it to three. The Seminoles battle back, take the victory, and stay undefeated. They are 5 and 0. Oh. Oklahoma State looking to hit him their first loss. Off the back of the rim, Milton couldn't hit. Pichetti back to Latson. And a timeout taken by the Seminoles. 30 seconds remaining. Three point game. 22 seconds. 15 on the shot clock. Gordon underneath, able to find Timpson. Timpson unable to finish. Timpson. On the second, and it's a one-point game. It's Timpson, 25 to 19 here in the fourth after outscoring them 17 to 10. And a whistle is going to go against Latson. Biggest free throws of the game for Oklahoma State. Ooh, a rare miss, though, by Milton. The pressure is on. In fact, that is just her second miss from the free throw line this season. What a way to start things off. Four more games on tap for you today. Right now, all the focus on the Cowgirls and the Seminoles. Latson, he's defending. Latson drives in. A Latson unable to finish rebound to Oklahoma State into the front court, and that will do it. Oklahoma State hands Florida State their first loss of the season.